Today we're trying a Latin American burger. We're eating at a restaurant called Venice in Venezi? 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 Uh oh. Right. God damn! Look. Oh. <gasps> yes! Oh, fuck off. Yes. Yes. Oh. This is the Dean Winchester. In it, that's a proper American rap. Lord have mercy on my soul. Oh, 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 oh. I'm good. Oh. It right. makes you happy, boy. Can you put that? And watches a food. I'm got the Juan's. What well, yours are the turkeys? What? Who's ready for a wing? Yours are the turkeys. <laughs> wings. Wing. Oh, what, 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 oh. what was it? It is wings. Yes, bro. I forgot what it's called. Right, that's the wing. band. Oh, All right. Right. It makes you happy, boy. Uh-oh. Right. God damn! We're eating the bacon party meal deal. Basically, that consists of an Angus Aberdeen burger. Big old portion of peri fries. With double American cheese, double crispy bacon, house burger sauce, served in a toasted homemade potato burger bun. T -t 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 and to today, wash it down, you... to wash it down, we got ourselves an apple tango. And then we also was like, do you know Boom. what? We had some like Deliveroo voucher. We got the fucking wings on it. Buffalo it. wings. Who's ready for a wing? Yours are the turkeys. <laughs> they look good, you know. They look hella good. They look good. And we've also one, two, got three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like the oldest brother's getting three and now they're, they're getting two <laughs> each. We got the seasoned fries to go. Quick one before we start. Thanks to everyone who subscribed recently. Welcome to the channel. There's going to be plenty more. If you have any suggestions of what you want to see us eat, let us know in the comments. If you have any would you rather questions that you want us to ask each other, let us know in the comments. Follow us now on Instagram to interact with the Rago Bloom Brothers. Give us all your thoughts and suggestions for future content. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel now and leave a like on this video. Legend. God damn! And if anyone's wondering how much weight we've put on since we started these <laughs> mukbangs, you don't want to know, kid. Mmm. Oh shit. Okay. I just had a flavour then. That wasn't chip. Wedgie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a wedgie. But it is chip. Aunt Bessie's wedgie's my G. Yeah, but uh, is it skin on? With a bit of yeah, but it tastes like wedgie. Perry Perry skin on fry. Perry, and I don't Perry. hate them. Perry Perry skin on wedgie. I'm, I'm not hating. I mm. think KFC chips. Yeah. They're different to McDonald's and Burger King, aren't they? Yeah, because yeah. the cause they're shit. I think like they they're not fries, the chips. You know what I'm saying? These aren't like fries, they're like chips. Skin on fries, bro. That's what they're called. Yeah, but do you know oh, what I'm saying? Five. There's a difference between a fry and a chip. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fries by are that? skinnier. Mm. I don't I these prefer are chips. Like, huh? These I'm, are I prefer chips. Like these are hearty. Yeah, they're chips. They're chips. These not fries. These are hearty. Like you could dip these in gravy. Like I wouldn't dip fries in gravy. This might sound like psycho shit, but recently I've been going to McDonald's. And the chips, if you get a good chip like that, it's nice, obviously it's delicious. But the majority of them are hard little fucking tiny ones in the bottom. You pick yeah. them up, there's a group of them, and it's like, get yeah, They're so what? artificial. Yeah, Don't start. come round here slagging off McDonald's fries. No, I'm not. I am. Have you heard this kid? Which that's shit. <laughs> McDonald's fries are like identical mm. twins. Not with a bum one. Next to each other, the, the, the identical twins. Every chip looks the same. These are all individual. They look different. The chips, the homemade, the hearty. You can put them in gravy, dip them in sauce. These don't even need salt and pepper. They're I'm, well seasoned. I'm I rate Dean it. Winchester on this. Dean Winchester. Get him up now. Mate, Tango. Apple Tango, though. The bum bum pal, my dude. In it, let me hit the fucking whistle. Mmm. I feel like anything that's like apple flavour is like for teenagers. Let and kids. Her mercy. Whoa, whoa. Anyone who knows knows that apple tango slaps differently. Fucking well. Let's all agree as well. If someone's eating a burger out of like tin foil like that on a on a program or a film, yeah. it instantly gets your clout or us tin foil. You only do it on fucking American like, films. In Hurry the UK, up. we just don't get this sort of wrapping. So to go to a Latin American place and actually get your burger wrapped like an American burger, Ugh, that's what we see on the movies, that's good times. I've still not done it. And if there's anywhere around... Oh, 
Oh, Bournemouth. Snap. Chinese restaurant that, that it's served in a little white container like on rush hour. I want that shit. Yeah. Shit, bro. That is Dude, a proper. Yeah. I want to eat Chinese with chopsticks Hurry out of a little box. Course, bitch. <laughs> That's a proper American angle. Touch yeah. tips, touch tips, <laughs> meaty <Jesus>. burgers. <laughs> That is a thick burger. Thank you, boy. Hit me up, bottle cop. Thank you, boy. Quick, so I don't want him to see me face. He's got some. I'm caked and shit. You got bacon mm. on this. It's uncooked. That bun, potato bun. Is that what the what the cluck burger was? A potato yeah, but bun. That what the cluck burger was that big? Give me some motherfucking tissue, please. That burger was that big that you didn't even know it had bread because it was that much shit on it, which was delicious, by the way. But okay, so straight away, this is the meatiest actual patty, like patty, whatever you want to call it, burger. Itself, it's an Angus burger proper. Uh, all the other burgers we've had, well, saying that we've had chicken burgers, haven't we? But mm. on this channel, every beef burger we've had has just been thin like a McDonald's mm. shy artificial squashed burger. This is like proper legit. Like, I feel like this is something you'd get if you went for a proper meal in a restaurant and had a burger. I feel like Dean Winchester really has eaten this before. Mm. I don't know. You won't like the sauce. No. The sauce, Mate, it tastes like a bit mustardy. red oniony chutney with mustard is yeah. like the flavors I'm it's getting. Soggy, Whether that's what it is, I don't know. It's called a house sauce. There's nothing on it. <clears throat> uh, you're biting into some chew. It's mm. all like just falling off into my mouth. The brioche feels wet. I kind of like it though. <sighs> yeah. It's, it, it's because the uh, the burger's so meaty, it's juicy. It's it's so well cooked that burger though because it's it's not dry at all. That would be so easy to either undercook or overcook. Like the window between that of getting it right is hard to do, especially with not not being pink and still being juicy. Fair fucking play points for that. I'm right. no connoisseur. I'm just saying. I'm a fat ass who loves eating. Hit us with a would you rather, Max? All right. Tango though, <laughs> you dirty bastard. I'd say that sauce has got pickle in it as Hold well. On, should we hit a wing now no. while we're eating burger? No. While well, the right. warm. You call it surf and turf? On it. While the warm. And see an And then hit a would you rather question after we try the thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's do one let's of do these it. wangs, bitches. Are you too pussy? Oh shit, these look fucking good. Touch mm. tip. Touch tip. Buffalo wings. Let me get in a disc. Mm-hmm. Mm. Frank red hot sauce. That texture ain't it. No. It ain't what? falling off the bones by any stretch. Mm -mm. Fatty. Mine was good. Have you ever bought yourself a bag of frozen... What the fuck is going on? Have you ever bought yourself a bag of frozen wings and stuck them in the air fryer and they've been fatty in that? What the fuck's that, bro? Broski. What? The, the chicken's not falling off the bone, but the bone's... Splitting like a motherfucker into a thousand pieces. Motherfucker, you're gonna knock me sick. Ain't it? Jeez! Scaring a motherfucker. That's like when your mum goes, Round back. <laughs> and you go, what? <laughs> Just drop the milk. So, In it. In it. Hurry up with the bag. Fuck you, bitch. Get your own goddamn bag. I've got bear shit going Mate, on here. This guy. Just in case I had a dodgy wing, I'm gonna try a different one. Nah. Oh, just had shitloads of fat. You ever got a. Flavors like right. your beard hair goes in your mouth all the time, bro. Shit's annoying. Mate. Them wings needed another hour in the oven at 170, 180 before you even decided to fucking go near that marinade. That fucking fucker. bacon needed another fucking 10 minutes in the air fryer. Right, so everyone's. You see how it starts Mate, this is going shit. downhill and everyone starts <laughs> getting to the shit. flagging off. I wouldn't get this again. In, I, I, I'll tell you that right now. I don't know for sure. Nah, I wouldn't get this fucker again. Nah. Joe just doesn't like fuck all. The wings are dead. Yeah, Them nah. wings are fucking dead. Who's ready for a wing? Yours are the turkeys. <laughs> wings are dead. This burger is just picture eating a burger and it's got no chew whatsoever. Your the teeth thing just fall through it. Thing is, I've seen like American like barbecue like documentaries on Netflix, you know what I mean? Like where they like slow cook meat for fucking hours. That ain't it, bro. Bro, that's, so, that's me a would you rather. All right. I'm going to have to oh, fucking man. take that bacon off. It's that fatty. Yeah. It's fucking rank. Ugh. Look, see all that? That's just yeah, fat. That's not. Nah, it's not, mate. It's not. It's not sound. If you like your biscuit, do you like your bacon crispy or fatty? Crispy bacon. 
Leave it in the comments, because I'm about the crisp life. Bro, I need some more tissue, tissue boy. Fucking grab it yourself. But look, That's like, your job. My hands are piss wet true, so unless you want my shit all over your tissue. That's your job, tissue boy. Isn't it, tell him. Tissue Go boy. in the comments and say, it's your job, oh, tissue oh, boy. Oh, I thought I had a hair though. Right, would you rather, who's ready, motherfucker? Me. Been ready for 20 minutes, bitch. Would you rather spend 24 hours in a deep sea diving bell whilst it's attached to a ship on the surface that is in the North Sea in rough weather. Right. Or complete a claustrophobic, tight squeeze cave system trail that only expert cave explorers would usually do. And it takes eight hours to complete it from start to finish. What I need you to imagine is, it's, have you seen the documentary Last Breath? Have you seen it? Yep. That's what it is, the bell where they're in there. And the ship above is in the North Sea in this particular would you rather question. So that bell is being dragged from pillar to post while you're in the deep dark ocean. You're on your own in the bell. And the bottom of the bell's still open. So the water's like splashing up into the bell and shit. Oh, I've always said there's one thing I wouldn't want to do, it's cave crawling, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, and only experts. Well, how the fuck are we going to do it with these Mate, my gut will be lodged in the first tunnel. You might, he's dead, mate. We can't cut the building, the, the fucking mountain in half. We're just going to give like, him I'm... some drugs and calm his heart rate down. Look at him. In it, I'll be like, I'm stuck, and they'll be like, bro, that's the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're not nowhere near the tunnel yet. Oh. Think about it though, like, I want you to put yourself in that bell. Before I go to the bell, just re say the cave dwelling system. You're with an expert. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Fucking There's expert. one in front of you and one behind you. No thanks. You go into a cave and it's a claustrophobic ass cave. Everything's tight, nuts and crannies. You know them ones where, like, the heads are like scraping the floor? Have you seen them in the yeah. and, and they, they like, drag themselves free? And they're like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm stuck. I'm gonna have to dislocate my shoulder to get this one in. It's like, what? In it. But yeah. don't worry. Yeah. Mm. One of them, all of a sudden, water starts trickling past your face. Yeah, but imagine how what? far down are you in the sea? It doesn't matter, I could be one metre down. I'm in a fucking bell. It's Last pitch breath. Black. Last breath. And your feet are hanging out. No, no, no. Your no. whole body in it. Your whole body's in it. You're 50 metres down. Have you not seen it? The bell itself is like a container. You can fit like three people in there. You're 50 meters down. But you mate. come up from the bottom and it's like an air pocket. Yeah, you're just in an air pocket. On you're the in water. that, but it's being dragged from pillar to post and the water's like splashing up into there and it's like fucking getting you wet and that. You're in there for 24 hours with the lights off. Or eight hours in the cave. With the lights off, just a like little. LED so you can see the oh water. God, no. But nothing's gonna happen. I'd have to it. go in the bell. But the bell's not gonna rip away. I couldn't crawl. I, I couldn't crawl in a cave and then you're halfway through. Put it this way, if I sit in the back seat of a three-door car, mm -hmm. I fucking get claustrophobic as fuck. Mm -hmm. I fucking have done it a couple times where I'm like, pull the fuck over, let me out, sucker. In it. Because yeah. it just gets a little bit too much. I mean, I had the devil's lettuce in my system. Um, yeah. Well, so that's a true story. That's a true story. Mate, I remember that shit. I was sat in the middle, there was someone either side of me in a three-door car. That rings a bell. But so does Quasimodo. And I was like, mate, let me out with now. the lads. It was like, fucking pull over, pull over. And I was like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Wouldn't handle, handle, handle your shit. <laughs> handle your shit. But, um, yeah, what I'm saying is, if I was halfway through these tunnels, and you know there's no reversing, mm -mm. No. you know what I mean? No. I'll just be like, as long as I'm in that bell, they're gonna bring me up and I'll just I'll just hold on and just ride the wave. But 24 hours though still. In darkness as well. Oh, and you would be claustrophobic in that. Of course you fucking Because think about it, you're on the ship right now. It's going fucking pillar to post North Sea shit. I'm having a wind. And then all of a sudden, like, right, Charlie, come on. And you got to jump in the bell. We're, we're going to lower you now. It's night time as it is. Oh. You get into the bell. The waves are going 10 to the dozen. And all of, got, all got, of a sudden, the crane. you wear headphones. And on the headphones is that ocean music. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. No, I don't actually Lord wait. have mercy, mercy on my soul. soul. Yeah, these wings are fucking dead, bro. In it. Who's ready for a wing? Yours are the turkeys. <laughs> Shit, bro. And when I got to the last bit of that burger, dead. I could have dashed that out the window as well. I am. I'm, I'm fucking it off. You gotta think, when we start these burgers off, we're Hank Marvin, Hank Mardukas, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you start seeing reality halfway through a burger. So realistically, you can't start saying a burger's delicious till you get halfway through it. Am I right, Lloyd? That's a fucking good rule of thumb. 
I knew it was shit instantly. I don't think it's shit. Mm, I, I like it. I don't love it, but I do like it. Would I sooner have Rustler burgers or them? Mate. There's no need to start hating. No them. lie, I'd rather have a Rustler's burger. Rustler's burger's good. It's at least got some chew to it. That was soggy. Oh, it was like eating play though. Imagine though, you're in the bell and all of a sudden you start hearing like metal clinking, like something's about to snap. Yeah, but imagine if you're down the cave system, all you can see is the feet of the guy in front of you. You've been down there four hours and he just goes. <laughs> And just go, <laughs> and he's just like, wow, really? In a cave, bro. <laughs> in it. Full brown eyes. In it. Treatment. I couldn't breathe as it is, bro, and now nah, you're fucking cacking there's yourself. There's no way I'll do that. Those people who do cave. Go and play fucking extreme. golf. Are we, can get alive. are we underestimating the bell, though, or have you no, thought about no, it? I've thought about it. And you Max. would rather do I've that? I've thought about it. Mate, what, what about, would you rather do? What about if a shark was dipping its tip up every now and then? Just like the shark would be the least of my problems. I'm like, oh, you're right, mate. And like, it's 16 hours friend. in. 16 hours in, I'll be like, just take me, <laughs> just take in me. It. I'll be glad for the company, bro. Nah. But, I'll do the bell all day. Yeah, me too. I'll be calling out for Andre the Seal, bro. Did you hear about that guy who he went caving and he Tried got easy. stuck? And they couldn't get him out, so they they, they had to oh, give yeah, him a drug you... to calm his heart rate down. That was actually real. Yeah. He died. Missed the he ball. Had, and... He had to slowly kill him with like a lethal injection. Are you joke No, because he was panicking so hard, and he thought the least we can do is give him a drug to calm his heart. Yeah. Have any of you breeders watched Mr. Ball and Strange, Dark and Mysterious? Whoa. He tells you all about that shit. The bottle... is free advertisement. Because... He is a geezer, though. Do you know what that caveman could have done? What? Caveman. What? They should have just given him like a bottle of whiskey. Because it would have given Dutch courage to keep going. He was fucking he was stuck. Jammed. They got apparatus out, mate, trying to pull his legs and all kinds. Yeah. He was done skis. At one point, weren't they like, we're going to have to break his fucking legs? And they did. I that could know. all be bullshit. That could be bullshit. I'm pretty I sure he so. did, though. Pretty sure he did, though. That's I crazy. Really I'd have been like, like, look, we're going to break this elbow. And <laughs> they'd have been like, <laughs> again? That, you didn't have to do that. that was n <laughs> <laughs> He's jammed at the waist and he broke his elbow. <laughs> I'm like, well, we're here. <laughs> and someone broke his legs. So I just thought, might as well. <laughs> in it. Oh, you know. Yeah, but that. I'll choose the bell. Mm, yeah, it would have to be. So would I. So would I. You would have to drag my lifeless corpse <laughs> if you want me to go into the cave. In it. That last breath, though. Has anyone seen Last Breath when he gets disconnected from the bell? Like I say, that's scary if shit. If you haven't gone and watch it, it's right. fucking terrifying. I've done like 90% of the chips, but they're dead now. Nah, well. fuck off. Don't start slagging this food. Nah. What? Right, listen, fuck I'll be deadly chips. serious here. This is Please shit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, use your chat and shit, bro. I would, I'll never. Would you rather have this or that Sam's chicken? Sam's, Sam's chicken. chicken. Are you dumb? What? <laughs> what? User impaired. If you want to know what we thought about Sam's chicken, leave it in the fucking description, Max, and actually do it so you can click on it. Well, at the end of this video, if you keep watching, the video will come up and just click on it. Yeah. Go and watch it and see what we thought about it. Need... That was well better. Nah, me. nah, nah, it weren't. It was tepid as well. Nah, it weren't. I think they only use that terminology for what drink, but. I know what I know what it is. I'll tell you what it is. It's fucking dead, bro. <laughs> These two uh, are slightly different to me. We're all brothers, but in what we mm. like, yeah. Let's be honest, you boys aren't really into like pies and shit, are you? I would. <laughs> I know that he is sitting here. <laughs> There's only one pie that we all back in, like, what? <laughs> These aren't really into pies. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. <laughs> what I mean by that is like, uh, they don't really like hearty food takeaways. Yeah, I do, motherfucker. Takeaways, you don't, you like more like- I love what? pie and mash with gravy. No, where have you ever had that from a takeaway? I don't oh, not from a takeaway. So listen to what I'm saying, you fucking selective here, motherfucker. <sighs> when it comes to takeaway shit. and it's hearty food, like hearty chips, that was a hearty burger, a big Angus yeah, burger. Yeah, I don't like all that. I you don't like that bits. shit. This is what I'm trying to say. Use like that fucking deep fried commercial shit. Yeah. This ain't commercial. This is, is more like a, a homey fucking type yeah. meal. Yeah, yeah. And Which I like that. And I think you've done it very well. The, the food was cut. All right, the bacon could have been a bit more crispy. The wings were But I'm not going to sit here and diss it. These could have been cold like Sam's. Dude. They could have been shit like Sam's. Yeah, but They're they, not. But it's not hard to make some chips. My mum, our mum, makes some killer 
fucking homemade fries. Yeah, and ooh, you made your fucking burger really thick. And what? I like a thin one like McDonald's. In it, you put boys it on the are bad, bro. I'd sooner have loads of a stack of thin burgers, hamburgers, than one thick burger. You know, like when you can get a gourmet beef burger, an Angus burger. That's what we just yeah, had. Put it this way: I was Hank Marvin when I started, so you could have fed me an old pair of socks, and I'd have been like, "That's actually pretty nice." But then I got oh. halfway through, me, me, me levels calmed down, and now I'm just appreciating it for what it was. Yeah. When we come to ratings, we go, "Could I have made it myself? I could I have that. made it better?" No, like Nando's. We all know it. you can make Nando's Max, better at home. Yeah. You could have made that well better. The bacon, yeah. What the fuck, are you talking about? You could have made that burger. It's the only bun. Brioche. The bun they was good. The now bread. the bun was good, Dude, but they didn't make it. They got. They it from bought somewhere. some brioche buns and they fucking toasted it. I think the burger, the actual party, was cooked well. This is my rating. <laughs> oh god. Scruffy. Okay. Do you know what? I'm kind of on board with that as well. What? Hold on, let me see if I can squeeze one out. <laughs> Don't shit your pants. <laughs> no, I probably would shut. Right, what are you giving that? Uh, uh, four. As a whole, 4.8. I'll give it a, because the wings are dead, but I enjoyed it. The bacon could have been a bit crispier. I'm rating it for what it is. Hold on. <laughs> Scruffy. Oh, oh, no, that was that <laughs> If you wanna see us do more of these videos, then like it and share it and subscribe. Cause it's getting pretty fucking expensive. We need to get monetized. Cause it's getting pretty fucking expensive. We can't afford loaded fries. Like it and share it and subscribe.